Now, oftentimes when we get Google Analytics, it seems like it's confusing to add these Google Analytics scripts onto a Next.js website, especially after Next has become all server side. But it's actually pretty easy. Uh, and I want to show you how to add Google Analytics properly onto a Next.js website in this video. If you guys like Next.js, CSS, front end development, full stack development, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Let's go. Now, what I've seen is a lot of people just searching like, next Google Analytics inside of NPM and downloading, importing a package and using that for Google Analytics. But you can add Google Analytics organically. Just use what they, the script they give you and just use the next script, uh, you know, component to utilize all that script that comes with Google Analytics. So for example, if we take a quick look at a sample Google Analytics, and if, if you've ever added this, it's pretty, you know, clear. There's generally a script tag. I don't know if you could see this. Let me zoom this in. There's usually a script tag. So there's a script import, and then you have the GA tracking ID, and then you have the function with that. And that all comes from Google Analytics uh, for straight off their dashboard. Or you can also have a G tag, and then you get two things. You get a piece that needs to go inside of the head, and then you get another piece of script that needs to go in the body tag. <clears throat> so what's cool about this is now, all we need to do is once we import or create a boilerplate Next.js website, we generally have the layout page, right? Layout.js is the default, which you can wrap everything in, right? That's the core layout that goes globally across all websites. So this is where you want to import and create those Google Analytics. So right here, what you're going to do is import. You need to import script from next script you can just right inside of the head tag you can utilize the script component the default next.js script component and in <clears throat> here you're going to just utilize you're going to place the source script right here and here i'm using and here you're going to actually import the function just like you know you saw it right here right so this is the script that we're going to add in and then this is the function so we're separating them into two script tags and now what's cool is you can also ex put this into a component so sometimes i'll create an analytics you know component you could just have the same here import script it could be a server side component it doesn't need to be client export the analytics and then in the same sense instead of having it all right here you could just have import the you could just import the analytics component and then just place it right here and it does the same thing right that that's easy enough but let's go back into the next the script tag let's say that this wasn't a google analytics ga4 tag this was a google tag manager it's a little it's the same concept but it's a little different in one sense so let me show you that so if we look at this and we flip over to the Google Tag Manager, right? Whenever you're gonna install Google Tag Manager, you're gonna get these two scripts, a function that needs to go globally across in the head, and then another iframe that needs to go in the body tag of every page. So what's cool is, and then it's like, what's the point of this? I believe this is just a fallback and it just needs to be there for fallback, uh, uh, you know, brow older browsers. So these need to be globally. Now, same concept. You want to use the layout.js file because that's going to be global. You don't need to, you don't need to paste it inside of every page.js file. Again, you're going to use the layout.js file and here, you, instead of this, right, this is where you're going to add that function. So you don't need to import the script. Right, because it shows you you only need this so you need to grab that you know the function itself inside the script and you don't need this guy and you can just place it right here that's gonna be the Google Tag Manager um, so if we go back I'm just gonna go back and then when it comes to that other piece of information this little pixel or iframe that needs to go on every page as well but in the body tag then you're going to place that right in the layout right in right after the body tag opening before the children that wraps the whole app and you should be good to go so if you place it here click save get rid of this so now you have that iframe right above the children and there's that pixel i just went ahead i you know took out the gtm obviously you'll use whatever is important now keep in mind one specific thing when it comes to the tag manager and some of these pixels that don't go in the head tag but go into the, the iframes sometimes you get that from meta meta pixels if you go back here and we look at the pixel you'll see that it's iframe 
And then there's styles. So you can't copy and paste this iframe exactly. You just need to modify it for React. Everything is fine except up until the styles, right? So those styles, so all you need to do is just change the style and then create an object out of it, just like CSS inline styles, basically. So display none as object, visibility hidden as object, but everything else is pretty much the same. Again, you just need to convert that into inline CSS, and that's it. So you don't need any packages. You're gonna use your global layout.js file and that'll take care of everything. And that's how you add Google Analytics, whether it's GA4, or the Google Tag Manager onto a Next.js site that's server-side. I'll see you guys in the next video.